Hey everyone, it's Rita with Everything Homemade. It is May 13th, 2021, and take a look at my celery plants. They're doing wonderful, and they're so ready to be transplanted into the garden. Now, I've hardened these off for the last four weeks, so every day we bring them outside, basically from six in the morning all the way to the evening and they are doing beautiful but the key thing is is that I've hardened them off and this is where so many people go wrong is that they pick up their plants or they get their plants from inside that bit underneath the grow light and they fail to bring them outside they just go right to the garden instead of bringing them outside for a while to harden them off. They need to be hardened off. They need to be used to the outside environment, the wind, the temperature changes. These guys can go handle now all the way to one degree. And if it did get zero degrees Celsius, just just on the freezing point, it'd be no big deal because they hardened off properly. And to do this, you want to take your plants out for about four hours for three or four days, increasing the hours they are out, checking the outside temperature. Now, I am leaving these outside in my catio because we are not freezing. If it was freezing, I would bring them in, but we're pretty good. And if we will freeze in the next couple of weeks, which we're not clear of frost yet, we're actually not clear till till the first week of June, I will throw a blanket over these. But these are a hardy, hardy plant if they're hardened off before they go in the garden. So I just want to really make that very clear how important it is to do that. So remember that I'm also an author. Check out my books at the end of this video. I've never had celery grow this fast and I give a credit to the grow lights that I've used because those were amazing. The only factor that I did different was use those grow lights from Bloom Plus. So if you're interested, check out the links in the description box below for those as well. Okay, so we have the celery over here and then in my catio, as you can see, I have a ton of plants here ready to be transplanted also in the garden at different stages. So there is a ton in this catio all over the place, but we are going to concentrate on the celery. I also got some more celery here that are doing fantastic. So let's head into the garden and remember never ever to water your pots on the day that you're going to transplant. You really want them to have drier soil to transplant. Um, on You want to transplant on a gloomier day if you can. We're a bit overcast. We've got some clouds. So I'm going to do this this morning. So make sure you do that. Otherwise, you're going to break roots even more. And I don't have anything else more to say. So let's get in the garden and let's transplant the celery plants. Okay, so we are in the garden spot and as you just saw, we have all the beds made and ready to go and at the very end, we have already set up the cucumber house or cucumber tunnel is what I like to call it. So what we need to do now is we need to pick one of these rows behind me. There are three feet in width and about 35 feet long and so all the soil here is prepped with manure from the fall and we till that in so because we're in such a northern environment we're in zone two we're in northern alberta you can't do that in the spring you got to do it in the fall so this garden soil is beautiful it's ready to go so we're going to add in no more manure we've actually since we've moved here four years ago there was hardly any topsoil so We've actually raised this level of the garden by almost a foot by adding in all the decomposed manure and um, 
everything that the farm has we have turned it into soil we have added it into garden and now we're actually making headway where we've got beautiful soil a um, lot less clay and i'm just absolutely thrilled as a gardener but it took time it takes time so we're going to plant out here today the celery is the first plant to go in i planted some lettuce seeds last night so we're gonna head in and plant i'm going to show you how to do that okay so when we mounted when we made the rows here which nova is in one and i'm in one we just kind of scoop the dirt into the row. So the very first thing we need to do is we're gonna take our rakes and we're gonna quickly level out the top of this row so it is flat. So are you ready to do that? Yes. Let's do it. Okay, now that we have our row nicely even on top, all the way down, what I'm gonna do at the end here is I always make like a little ridge so the water just doesn't drain down. And that's that's pretty simple to do. Um, the other thing we need to, the other thing I wanna mention is that our rows are about a foot high. So there's lots of lots of dirt and loose dirt for these plants to get in here and spread their roots and won't be compressed that's why we would do the raised beds and the walkways but we do it where we don't aren't don't have wood around it so we can totally um till the ground every year thank you nova You're welcome. so what what we need to remember is with celery have really tiny roots and in order for celery to go really grow really well they need to be able to stretch out into the, the row you don't want clay but you don't want sand either because celery is very much a marsh plant you actually want to um, this is one plant that you can overwater. so let's get started here so Nova brought me some celery a celery container and what we're gonna do is pop this out So they, they don't go into um, shock very easily. So what I'm gonna do is just kind of hit each side, loosen it up, just like that. And then I'm just gonna kind of shake it out. Thank you, Nova. Okay. So just grab the end and lift up. So I get that perfect. Okay, so now that we got the celery out, um, now we're gonna split it up. So as you can see here, the roots have, I mean, totally taken over the soil. The soil is not damp. It's a little bit dried out. Now celery doesn't like dry soil, but in order to transplant really well, I want them to be drier and then we'll give them a really good shot of water. You can see the beautiful stems there. They look awesome. And, uh, and so now we're just going to basically kind of be a little bit brutal, tear them apart. They don't go into shock. You can definitely do this with celery. You don't have to be scared that you're gonna kill them. Um, they got really fine roots and you can really see that, really fine roots. That's why it's so important not to have compressed soil. You don't want sand. Let me tell you, this is one plant where sandy soil is not great. A heavier Loomis soil is better because it is a marsh plant. It likes moisture. You never want your celery to dry out. So, Nova, let's take our tools here. Okay and I am going to start separating a few plants. Um, these are three feet, so we're gonna plant a celery plant closer to the ridge over here, and then one here, and then here. So we're gonna have three celery across, 
and then we're going to be about 20 centimeters um, and we're going to do the next row. Okay. Okay, so let's get started here. So the very first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to isolate my first celery plant here. I'm going to take my tool. Now one of my favorite tools look like this. I can cut with it, I can stab with it, I can use it as a shovel. And let me tell you, who gets this tool when I'm out? Mom. This is Mama's tool. I wish I had about five more for each one of my kids because they love it too. So what I'm going to do is just take my tool, drive it straight down and make a box. Such as that. So now I have, it almost looked like I popped it out of a plug tray. Um, Nova, you did an awesome job. Show them, put it down a little bit in front of the camera. Awesome. Look at that. Um, if I got a little bit of extra dirt on this row, it's no big deal. So what we're going to do is simply um, make a hole here. And you don't want to plant higher than the base here. So you're only going to make a hole the, the size of your the roots here. That's all you need. So we're just going to do that. Put it in. Press it down. And as quick as that, the first one is done. Good job, Nova. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just put it in there. And now I'm going to separate another one. Okay, so now that we got that particular pot, remember we have about seven more of these pots to do. What we need to do is because the sun's coming up a little bit more, we're going to water this section and then move to the next section because they were a bit drier. We want to make sure that they don't go into stress and help, watering that will definitely help them out. Want to pass me the watering can there, Nova? Yep. So we're just using some dugout water here. Make sure if you have city water or town water that you don't use chlorinated water. Uh, try to use some rain water. And whatever you do, don't let the celery dry out. Alright, there you go Nova. Now, they look a little sad because they, they kind of lost the support of their buddies too. But they'll pick up and they'll come back up without any problem whatsoever. So don't get scared at this point um, that, that you totally destroyed them. You didn't. Um, the weight of the water, you see when I shake the water off, they kind of pop back up. The weight of the water too just just kind of push them down a bit and so I'm just going to shake them up a little and they're good to go. So that, that looks really awesome. So we're going to move to the next one and it's going to take us probably about another hour. 
So now that we have the celery all the way planted, and you can see how far that celery um, covered the row, we did about three quarters of the row, and they're looking really, really good. So I'm going to leave it like that. Well, but right now, since we just transplanted, make sure you're watering it every single day unless of course you got a big rainstorm or whatever comes through but make sure they never ever dry out so thanks so much for watching everyone and i will see you on the next video